Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back. And today we are gonna try to go after the infamous exhaust fluid system fault that some may encounter on their 6.7 Super Duty. This is what happens when you get outside of the fill strategy uh, when fill filling def and or if you run out of def it is going to limit your speed to 50 miles an hour and eventually make you only idle and then give you this fault in the instrument cluster. So part of this procedure, um, it wants you to verify that there are no DTCs uh, in the PCM before starting this. Um, it says the exhaust fluid system procedure is carried out to clear the DPF system messages and allow the vehicle to exit the forced idle mode for the following messages. Engine idle soon, exhaust fluid C manual, engine idled C manual exhaust fluid system fault. And that are, are those are the two messages I am getting in this instrument cluster. So right now we're gonna verify that we in fact have no DTCs. So we're gonna do a quick key on engine off self test and see what we got. Okay, these are the DTCs from that knock sensor. We're gonna go ahead and clear these out. So we have pass codes, clearing DTCs. Okay, now we're gonna go, once that's completed, to our data logger and we are going to access I believe the PCM PIDs so you either can pick exhaust or you can just pick all of them which is going to be selected in the PCM uh, link okay so it wants us to select ambient air temp our EGTs RPM reductant tank pressure and tank PIDs so uh, let's go back to IDS and do just that. So we're going to head clear all the ones that they have pre-selected. We want air, ambient air, temp. We want our EGTs. Engine idled, C manual is what it's saying right now. RPM, reductant injector. RPM, RPM and reductant injector. RPM, reductant injector, duty cycle, and tank pressure and tank temp. Tank pressure and tank temp. So, now it's going to ask us a couple of questions. Verify that the EGT-12 PID, wide frame vehicles, or EGT-13, narrow frame, which is what I have, is less than 149 degrees. So let's look at our EGTs and see if we qualify for under 149 degrees. So here's our EGTs. They're all under 149 degrees. So let's see what our next question is. Okay, we want to verify that the ambient air temp PID and the reductant tank temp PID is greater than 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Reductant tank temp and ambient air temp where you at right there 60 so yes we are above 23 degrees so it says start the engine and increase the rpm to 15 to 2000 and monitor the egt12 for wide frame pickup vehicles or egt13 for narrow frame or cab chassis vehicles and it wants us to increase that value until 194 degrees and then it wants us to just let the engine idle. So we are gonna do just that. We're gonna monitor EGT-13. So let's watch 1-3 for our narrow frame until it goes to 194. So here we go. Okay, gonna get our RPM. Go up. Okay, I like that. And let's watch our 1-3 until we get to 194. Okay, still creeping. Okay, 1-3's getting up to almost 100. 
Okay, so quickly, uh, we still got, you know, quite a way. We've got 100 degrees more we got to go. So let's check out what our next next step is. So once we uh, are at idle, it says monitor the reductant tank pressure for an increase up to 72 PSI. Well, we're not going to read the wide frame because we don't care about that. For the narrow frame vehicles, drive the vehicle at 5 miles an hour and monitor the injector duty cycle for the reductant system. The PID should display a square wave pattern within 90 seconds of driving. This wave pattern should last 30 seconds. Continue driving for the duration of the injection pattern. So let's see where we at back on IDS. Okay, 13's at 116, 120. Okay, okay. Let's go back here and refresh our memories here. Okay, after we do the little driving and the square pattern comes alive, when the injection cycle completes with the vehicle in park, increase to 2,000 to 2,500. With the engine RPM elevated, monitor 1,4 until it reaches 437 or the message in the instrument cluster has cleared. If this does not clear, we must let all the EGTs cool down to 149 degrees and then repeat steps one through five. It's crucial to do that, otherwise it's, you're just gonna be wasting your time. They have to cold soak. So our one three, we're almost, we're almost there. So we're at 2000 RPM. Go back down here, it says 194, right? 194 degrees, okay, we're almost there. Then we got to go outside. Okay, here we go. Here's one square wave pattern. Okay, we're gonna go outside and see see what we can what we can do. Okay, we already got def pressure being built. We're at 72 psi right now. So we're gonna go out here and see. Uh, see, here we go. Here's our pattern coming alive right now. So. Keep driving, it says five miles an hour until that pattern starts. And then what do we gotta do really quick again? It says we gotta keep driving for the duration of the pattern. Okay, looks like it's quitting. Okay, vehicle in park, the pattern quit. Now we're going to 2500 RPM until EGT-14 reaches 490 degrees or the cluster message clears. So we're gonna wait for that to clear. Hopefully after this temperature right here reaches 190, uh, 494, 437, sorry. So let's, we're waiting. Still going. IDS is frozen right now, trying to get her back alive. Okay, right now 1.4 is at 262. Still got my message. Still got a little ways to go. 287, almost 290. This was idling only. I could only just creep out of the shop. Couldn't hit the gas didn't do anything. It was like it was unplugged. Still got a little ways to go here. Thank you for being patient. Okay, the deaf injectors uh, doing a little, little dance here on and off, spitting a little in the exhaust. Still have the message, and EGT 14 is at 316. Okay, EGT 14. 300 and almost 40 degrees uh, you can see our injectors doing a little little longer opening here 338 still got my message and we wait all right I'm back at it this morning couldn't get it to uh, clear uh, yesterday afternoon so when it says it stops put the vehicle in park and raise the RPM to 2500 
until the message clears or it reaches 437 degrees so this is where we're at and we wait all right guys here we are 278 degrees I didn't even reach the threshold of 437 but look what cleared our message finally cleared oh my goodness all right so let's see we got off idle that's what I'm talking about all right so you guys to recap what we just did um, if you ever have an instance where you have gotten outside of the strategy filled range when you add def remember when you add def you got to fill the tank up all the way don't get in the habit of just adding a gallon because there's not a float in there indicating the level like there is in your fuel tank so it works off of a strategy and and in that def heater sender part that uh, we've been replacing in the tanks uh, for the heater though um, that is what sends uh, the level uh, to the computer uh, and it knows when it uh, reaches the next level that you know somebody added fluid but if somebody adds a gallon and doesn't meet that next threshold, then it won't know that any has been filled. So then it gets to a point where it's going to limit your speed and then eventually make you just idle. And this is what happens. It'll say exhaust fluid system fault. So um, it has you monitor a bunch of PIDs, uh, your exhaust gas temp sensors, ambient air temp, the uh, reductant injector, tank pressure, and temp. And it wants you to increase the RPM. Um, and monitor the EGTs, uh, wait for the injector duty cycle, should display a square wave pattern, I want you to drive it for five miles an hour for the duration of the square wave pattern, although you can't drive it any faster than five because you're at idle only. And then I just sat here, it was probably for 10 minutes, 2,000, 2,500 RPM, and it said until EGT14 reaches 437 or the message clears in the IC and it has cleared. So, all right, you guys, tell me if anybody's ever had to come across this, if you guys are using uh, IDS to clear this out or if you guys have some sort of aftermarket scan tool. I've got a couple of uh, uh, comments saying, um, hey, how do you uh, perform uh, these certain things like regen and stuff without having this type of scan tool. So just curious. Um, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later.